What's going on guys? It's your boy Webby Boy and I am back with another video and I'm here to show you the best isolation point guard build that's out there in NBA 2K21. So let's get into it. 70 points for Devin Booker. Just unreal. Yeah, yeah. Snakes in my face like Medusa. Cutting on my Freddy Krueger. You wanted that hoe but I took her. I'm shooting my shot Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Devin Booker. 70 points, I'm like selling, I shoot Devin Booker, Devin Booker Move so cold, they coming down with the flu Snakes in my face like Medusa Cutting on my Freddy Krueger You wanted that whole What's up guys, and just like I said, we're going to be getting into what I think will be the best isolation point guard build in NBA 2K21 So without further ado, let's get into it We're picking the pure yellow pie chart, the pure playmaker, and we're going with pure speed Bitch, you want to see some real speed? Bitch. You'll see later on in the clips that I've been getting better at dribbling, so hopefully once I get better and better, I can get a dribble tutorial out to you guys. Who knows how the dribbling will be in the actual game. We all remember the dribbling from the prelude of 2K20. The shit was nowhere near the same as the actual game, so I'm kind of hesitant to even make one, because who knows what's going to be in the game. So I might hold off to the actual game, actual, 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 actual game. No, 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 let me stop. So, you guys get my point tutorials i will hold off until the full game is released now we're gonna go with this right here pause the video if you need to make sure you have 8 12 25 and 7 for your badges this is what i believe will be the best isolation build for point guards man you're fast you can shoot you can finish you're six foot five all you gotta do back that weight down it ups your speed this year which is very interesting and then back that wingspan if you want to i kind of experimented with the wingspan just a little bit here i wasn't sure what i wanted to do because i want to get my driving dunk up but at the same time i also want my three pointer to stay up so it's kind of a mix and match pick and choose which one do you want i decided to go with the three pointer now here you can choose between shot creating takeover playmaking takeover slashing takeover i know what i said about shot creating takeover and how i would always be a shot creator but this is an isolation build that is just made to push it to the limit man get to the rim get to your spots from three force the defense to back off of you always get to the hoop and then step back for three you're going to be able to do everything with this build so you know what i picked i went ahead and picked slashing takeover i've never had slashing takeover before so this will be a first and it should be a lot of fun you get compared to jamal murray stephen curry in John Morant and you are titled as a slashing playmaker now I know the title slashing playmaker may be a bit boring yes I know I wish they added some more names for these damn things so we didn't have to play them as the same game what it feels like for at least a few more months but you know what we don't get to choose 2k gets to do that for us because that's all they do anymore they don't listen to us but there's hope all right hopefully we get new parks I don't really have a problem with them making all this stuff the same. I mean, I didn't have an issue with it last year. I actually really liked it. But, like, come on now. At least throw us a bone for current gen. Now, going with Contact Finisher Gold, Giant Slayer Gold, and Slithery Finisher on Silver. I don't need fancy footwork. I don't really do hop steps all that much. I'm going with Hot Zone Hunter on Gold. I know there's no Hot Zones in the Prelude right now. But, you know, I have it on anyways. This is what I would be using. Then, Range Extender Gold. Green Machine Silver, Dead Eye Silver, and Difficult Shot Silver just in case if I want to shoot some off-balance bullshit. Now you see here you're going to have a lot of playmaking badges to kind of toy around with. I was kind of messing around with it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to put on. Um, I ended up putting freaking Ankle Breaker on just because you have enough badges to the where you have the freedom if you want to have that on. If there's going to be Dribble Glitch this year, then you might as well have it on because that's the meta nowadays. But those are my playmaking badges. Um, then, you know, we get to go with the classics. Clamps on gold, pick dodger silver, rim protector, and chase down. It is crazy to me how much they nerfed the badge count this year. And the amount of things a build can do. But at the same time, I kind of like it. We all know how much I hated that two-way slashing playmaker build from last year. And now look what happened. You guys got shit on. And you're about to be exposed. Finally, we get to see some cool shit here. We get to see some gameplay of this build. And I get to finally show you guys how fast this thing truly is. Like I said, I've been getting better at dribbling. I'm still not great, but here I am dunking in traffic and getting a decent speed boost. I'm still trying to figure out where the speed boosts come from. Obviously, I know where they come from, but I'm trying to figure out which dribble moves trigger them. Here you see me getting a seal on Giannis's bitch ass, and I go all the way for the dunk. This build has pretty good defense. It's decent. It's solid. You get a decent amount of badges with it. 
If you're wanting to guard ball in the park or guard ball at all, you have a chance with this build. You see me getting another steal on Giannis in the open floor. I'm just faster than everybody. I know everybody's trying to look at these other pie charts for point guards and stuff, but I'm here to tell you right now. When it comes to speed, I feel like speed will matter much more in 2K21. I know all these other guys are trying to sell you on these other point guard builds. I am even selling you on the 6-2 play shot. But that's just because that's the comp build. If you're looking to isolate, you need speed. This build, it feels like in 2K21, that speed is going to be hitting different. Max speed and acceleration is almost a must if you want to isolate the basketball. I can even feel a bit of a difference in my dribble moves. Like, they're just so much faster. Look at this stuff. Look, I'm not doing that with my play shot. Even though I didn't really try, at the same time, I mean, you see me take this dumbass shot here. I was trying to finish the clip, you know me, <laughs> shooting some dumb shit. But hey, like I said, the speed is incredible. I'm trying to do that one move that I used to always do in 2K20. I couldn't get it done, but you see me finishing at the rim. The stick finishing seems to be kind of OP. I'm not going to lie. I saw a video of Hank the Tank making full quarters. So if you want to see that, go on his Twitter. Like he's greening full quarters. But you see me blown by Kyle Corver's slow ass. You're getting old, Kyle. You need, might need to hang it up. I know it might seem like deja vu, guys, but trust me, we're still here. This is not a time lapse. I do the same move right by Kyle Korver again. This time, I get a different dunk. Like I was saying, I'm finishing at the rim with ease. Uh, I'm blowing past defenders. I know these are AIs, but come on. These are AIs, all right? These aren't easy to beat. Areas aren't easy to isolate, especially. Look at the speed. And, and one in transition. George Hill, you look worse than when you choked the fucking finals for the Cavs. All right, that was a little harsh, but we all know George is going through it. He was looking back at LeBron, scared shitless. Now you see me, I have my takeover. Finally get my takeover and get to use it. I get double teamed right here. Pass it to Montrez Harrell. I call for the ball back. And what's his dumbass do? He throws up a fucking wing three. Not even in the corner. Like, what are you doing? We have five seconds left. Give me the goddamn ball. Like, when have we ever seen Montrez Harrell throw up a three and actually make it? When have we ever seen him even throw up a three? His tendency has to be a zero. I do gotta say, these AIs do seem dumber. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but here I am isolating up again, kicking out to Leonard. He doesn't throw up the wide open shot that I gave him, so you know what I do. Bow, green. This this build is decent at shooting threes. I didn't shoot many this game. I was trying to test out the speed and get better at dribbling and blowing past my defender. But, you know, that never hurts to throw up a three every now and then and drill that shit. Here I am again, isolating. Big speed boost. Another big speed boost while gassed. Finally, Harold makes a decent decision. I don't even know why he's in the corner. Get in the short corner or something. Something you can make. Now, here's a move you're either going to be really happy about or you're going to be really pissed about. I understand both sides. Be sure to let me know that in the comments below if you think that move should be still in the game. If you use it, if you think it's cheesy, I don't know. Just let me know. All right. I ended up with 36 points, 6 assists on 14 to 25 shooting, 7 for the free throw line, 1 for 3 from 3. I'm definitely going to be making this build. This build is perfect for clips, isolation play, anything you want, it can do. If you've made it this far in the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments if this is a dub or an L, a good time or a waste of time, guys. I want to know your opinions on this game so far. Try and be nice to it. It's only the demo. Let's wait for the full game. If you guys haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, your boy Webby Boy is out. Peace. Yeah. Huh. I'm cool as I'm